to the East region. The Supercross rookie gave Suzuki their first lights victory in nearly two years. Former Arena Cross champion Darcy Lange kept Kawasaki's podium streak alive with an inspiring ride on the green machine. Former world champion Ben Townley was not as fortunate. His tanks cost the New Zealand native a chance at the win, and he comes to St. Louis looking for redemption. Toss in a passel of hungry lights riders to the mix, drop the gate, and let's get it on. Supercross lights from the Show Me State is next. a lot from who didn't deliver. And then there were others like Ryan Dungey who literally stunned the field, Jeff. Well, that there was, but since how we're in St. Louis here, the gateway to the West, I thought we'd take a look back at Atlanta and check out the good, the bad, and unfortunately, Ralph, the ugly. We'll start with Ryan Dungey. He was fast, smooth, and confident all night. Darcy Lance come off the Arena Cross Championship. He definitely was warmed up and ready to race. Matt Gorky worked his way up onto the podium with the third, looked awesome. But the bad, though, Ben Townley had the fastest lap time of the night, ended up having an engine failure, put him back in 22nd. Tommy Hahn on Factory Honda, been a rear disc brake, cost him the race. Ryan Sipes coming off of a couple of injuries. Also, he crashed with only three laps to go while he was running third. Then we'll take a look at the ugly. Jeff Alessi, he was set the fastest lap time in qualifying at Atlanta, ended up back in 13th, and his brother, Mike Alessi, whole shot at the main event, looked like he was gonna have a chance to win this thing, ended up going off the track, finishing a 21st. And Billy Leninovich in his sixth season of lights racing, definitely a championship contender, somebody that, a rider that people are thinking he can win, and he was buried back in the pack also. Well, Ryan Dungey was, without question, the best of the good. With more on the story of rider on bike number 62, here's our Aaron Bates with the Progressive Direct pre-race report. Well, thank you, Ralph. A notable accomplishment was made last weekend by 17-year-old factory Makita Suzuki rider Ryan Dungey as he celebrated his very first Supercross Lights career victory. He said it was a big deal for him to get it over and done with, a big stress relief off of his shoulders. Take a look at what he had to say. <laughs> Oh man, I was really pumped. It was really cool to uh, get a win for myself, you know, and, and the team. It was uh, obviously my first Supercross win, but I was really stoked with it. It was really, it was really a good ride, I felt, and uh, just happy to walk out of there with the number one spot. Hopefully, you can do it tonight. Well, since we've only had one race, obviously the top ten in points is exactly like the top ten, the way they crossed the line. Now, the big question here is going to be, can those riders that fell in the bad and the ugly category turn this weekend around, get some good points, and get back in this points chase for the East Coast title? Now, the racetrack layout here this weekend in St. Louis a lot different than anything we've seen so far this season. Earlier today, Jeff took a look at the St. Louis track. All right, let's go on board with Motor World Yamaha's Justin Brayton for a lap of Supercross Lights qualifying practice here in St. Louis. Takes a look at the sand section. He's going to want to go through there a whole lot faster in the race. Now he's back on the throttle over the first triple jump into a rhythm section that fast guys are going to go 2-3-2. Two, two. He does it a little bit different way. Taking a good look over this triple into a set of whoops that you're going to go in so fast. Up shift there, hit a couple times into the turn. Notice he wheelies through those whoops, does a triple out. Up shifts, hard on the throttle, coming across the start straight. Now he slams on the brake to slow down for this little on off. Finds a good groove, goes on off this obstacle over the finish line. And that's a lap of practice with Motor World Yamaha's Justin Brake. The sand section over there just to the left, that gray area is going to be a key to the victory here tonight in St. Louis. A week ago with the Georgia Dome, 
a great night of racing as a Supercross Lights East Coast Series got underway. We'll start round two when we come back. I'm in St. Louis, Missouri, getting ready for heat number one for the Supercross Lights East Coast region. Let's show you our Supercross 411 before we drop the gate on the first heat of the night. We will have two heats, top nine going straight to the main as usual. There's one last chance qualifier, which will give us our final four riders for our 22 rider, 15 lap main event, paying points towards the East Coast region. Here's a progressive direct pre-race report from Aaron Bates. Well guys, an incredible weekend for Ryan Dungey last weekend, kicking off the season with his very first Supercross win. Might take a look at this guy here, his mechanic Tim McAdams, also an amazing weekend for him, celebrating his very first mechanics career victory. He's known as Tool Time and he said all the hard work and dedication and preparation they put in to getting that win paid off big for them last weekend and having that first win under their belt is going to make the season a little bit easier. All right, Aaron, you can see Dungey getting himself lined up in the gate. Here's our up close for Heat 1. Again, top nine will transfer. Everybody else to the last chance qualifier out of this six-lap race. Now let's show you the Dunlop starting grid. And we're going to get to see Ryan Dungey and Ben Townley right out of the first gate. And also, the Alessi brothers in Heat number 1. Yeah, it's a great heat race we got lined up here. And uh, looking at the start, I think that uh, the riders that are on the inside of this gate are going to have the advantage here. Pretty long start, though, here in St. Louis. And remember, coming out of that first turn to go right into a sand deal. It's going to be really interesting to see how that plays out here tonight. Dungy set to go. The 30-second board is up. And we'll be racing here momentarily in St. Louis. championship contender he had an injury two or three weeks ago to his ribs and one of his lungs so definitely had a great ride last week to even uh, finish that main event looks like he's looking for a lot more here well Dungey puts a move on him and takes the lead and look at the sand section route that boy Sykes comes right back out of him takes it right back away you know for being injured it's a pretty incredible ride that he's been putting in here and uh, definitely showing that hey you might have won the first event there, Ryan, but I'm ready to win the second event. Townley sits in third. Mike Alessi, or actually uh, Zach Osborne and Alessi, fourth and fifth. And that's Jeff Alessi. See this corner right here? This is an off camber. Guys are elected to go out to the outside. A little on off coming after that. Seems to carry a little bit more momentum. Now take a look at this sand section. This is some of the deepest sand that I've ever seen. It's, it's given everybody problems. They fixed it here before the qualifying rounds. It's actually in good shape. But as the night goes on, that section's going to be nasty. celebrate that first win. So, well, we went to the Waffle House, hung out for a little while, had a post-race meal, said, did you buy? Said, no, no. Well, that's exactly what I used to do after my uh, Supercross wins also, Ralph. Waffle House? Oh, yeah, I love the Waffle House. Cheese and eggs. <laughs> Late night breakfast Ooh. of champions, apparently. Townley sticks it there, comes up short on that on-off tabletop there, and you can see the soil here in St. Louis is, is I thought last week in Atlanta was good, but here in St. Louis, this is the best soil. I like the way that the track shapes up. Gets a lot of a lot of grooves coming out of, ooh. Sykes does a triple there, 2-3-2 two, two in that section. It's definitely gonna help him pull away. That's gonna make for a faster lap time. Well, his best lap time in the night of 46-7-4-8. Dungeon 
strategy has actually turned a quicker lap to the 46.740. And Dungey hanging right with him. Well, if they come down backwards on the start straight there, shifted two or three times, then they have to slam on the brakes coming into the section here. It's pretty cool. High above from the roof here, the Edward Jones Dome looking down on the battle for the lead. So, Ralph, do we have a camera guy mounted up there, or is that like a robotic? It's thing? a robotic camera high above the Edward Jones Dome, and it's a control robotically from inside our TV truck. Pretty spectacular view. Yeah, see both oh, those guys. Oh. Down goes Sykes. He's see, if up. He, see if he keeps the bike running. Yep. Townley will get by for second. Well, Townley didn't jump the triple right there either, so Sykes is right on him now. Let's see what happened here, Jeff. You see, they both come through. They both do that triple I was talking about. Sipes comes over, comes a little bit short there, just washes the front end out. Quite a bit of loose soil on top of these turns right now. Later on in the night, there'll be some really good grooves there to make for good uh, cornering traction. White flag is out. One more lap to go. Jeff Alessi has moved himself up into fourth. Here he comes. Jeff Alessi coming out of nowhere here. I guess he's showing that that fast lap back in Atlanta and the qualifying was no joke and he is definitely ready to race here. And he's trying to pull himself out of the ugly category as you mentioned at the beginning of the show, but nothing changing for Ryan Dungey between Atlanta and St. Louis. He's gonna take another checkered flag. Yeah, Dungey had a couple of mishaps in the first qualifying round of practice today. Kind of got the bugs out. Looking like the Ryan Dungey we seen last week. Checkered flag, heat number one, goes to Ryan Dungey, the series points leader. Townley will take second, Jeff Alessi third, Sipes and Mike Alessi rounding out the top five. Top nine transfer to the main event. And Ryan Dungey going on to tonight's main here in St. Louis. Stay with us, we're coming right back. Sunday is race. We saw heat number one get checkered, and Ryan Dungey took the win. Eight other riders will join him in tonight's main event, all the way down to that yellow stripe. Justin Sipes making his first Supercross premiere. Brother of Ryan Sipes just missed a straight trip to the main event. Let's head down to Aaron Bates with our winner. Well, guys, he's energized, he's pumped, and he's coming fresh off that heat race. Ryan, you had taken a couple of, uh, I guess you could say, dirt samples earlier this afternoon in practice. Do you feel as though you've worked out the bugs at this point? Yeah, I mean, I, I just had a couple of rough first practice, but uh, I ended up getting coming around in the second practice. We had some, did some changes to the bike, and she's and, and the Suzuki's working great. I can't think of Makita and Suzuki enough. Bridgestone, Maxima, uh, RG3, my mom and dad. I, uh, the bike's working great, and uh, Pro Circuit, and... Uh, Looking forward to the main. They consider him a diamond in the rough, and a polished performance like that, you can see why. No doubt about it, Aaron. Did you miss any AMA racing action? Want to relive the excitement? Watch all the 2007 AMA Supercross and Superbike events on speed, on demand, online. It's all free, courtesy of Yamaha. So log on now to speedtv.com, keyword Yamaha, and get up to speed. Well, as you can see, the gate is loaded up again. Set now for heat number two. Again, we'll take nine riders straight to the main event. Another six lap race. Everybody else goes to the last chance qualifier. Here's your Dunlop starting grid for heat number two. Tommy Hahn can start bouncing back right here. Yeah, Hahn needs a whole shot here to keep himself out of trouble and you know, get rid of all this bad luck that he's been having. Billy Leninovich needs a good luck race as well. Yeah, he's definitely possible. Uh, you know, he has the potential to win a race and even win this main event. So I look for him to have a great main event here tonight. We've got an onboard camera. It's on the Motor World Racing Yamaha of Justin Brake, number 114. Looking down to turn number one. There he is on that 114. And there's Darcy Lange. He finished second just a week ago. Making a bid for the East Coast Championship. Well, we see a rider going off there. That was 47. Well, 
Well, Thomas Hahn got the whole shot, but then he goes down in the sand. He looks like he's holding his right wrist. Yep, holding his elbow. Well, we said he needed a good luck race, and it might have just gone bad for Darcy Lamb, or I should say, Thomas Hahn. The Astros medical crew over to help him. Meanwhile, the 33 and Matt Gerke pulling away at such a great run just a week ago, and now here he is picking up with the same amount of momentum. Well, he definitely has made the best of this ride that he has here with Yamaha. He's had some uh, some pretty big uh, predictions. He's, he has a lot of confidence in himself. Right there, you see Kelly Smith on the yellow bike going off. Then Hunt. See these riders get. Check the overhead here with the whole shot. Gets in this nasty sand we were talking about. He gets split up right there. Ooh, that was a bad one. A lot of roost in the face, too. Well, Matt Gerke told us and everybody who was listening after the round in Atlanta that he was going to make a run for the championship, that he felt like he had everything he needed to put together a great season, and he's doing it. Oh, I like that, too. I like the confidence in you. Kind of tells you to, you know, kind of pressures you to rise to the top. You know, you got some big words. You got to fill them. Almost made a mistake there. Well, he did make a mistake, but unfortunately, he didn't lose the lead. Yep. Darcy Lanch here, 105. Man, look at that sand, Ralph. They landed there, and there's ruts going everywhere. The bike just swirls out left to right. They're not really sure which way it's going to go. You're riding in third place right now. Justin Bray giving you the view inside the Edward Jones Dome. Chasing Darcy Lanch in a fight for second. A strange line there, Lance. It looked like he hooked up, and he didn't really think he was going to. Went, went a little right, then a little, 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 little left. But as with any Supercross rider, he never let off the throttle. Just kept it pinned. Getting ready to take another trip to that nasty sand section. Here we go. A little double in. You jump over the first sand whoop. And that, it's like bottomless sand. It just, and the, well, there's a lot of rear wheel spin, that, and the bike just really doesn't get a good drive coming out of there. So how do you ride a sand section like that? What do you have to do as a rider? Well, they're, they're actually over jumping the double into the sand, and what you gotta do is you gotta lean back a little bit, prepare yourself for the bike to land in this, in this soft sand that's gonna bond the bike. Oh, ripping one of the signs off a tuck block. The Monster Pro Circuit Kawasaki. All three of the leaders here are running a pretty good race, so we've been evenly paced there. We'll see if he can get back on it. Get this heat race win. You can see some of the really deep runs starting to form there. And that's a blind jump into the sand where they come over it and they don't know what's there. So once they get their view, they look down and said, okay, this is the run I'm going with. And a sand section like that is going to be different every lap. So you never know what you're going to see. You're exactly right, Ralph. The reigning arena cross champion, Darcy Lange, making real good on an opportunity to get into the Supercross Lights East Coast Series. Here's what happened to Gerke right on top of that tough block. Yeah, he, he landed on it. Sometimes when you land on that tough block, you'll just take the front wheel out, but luckily he was kicked out a little bit. He was, he was real fortunate that he didn't go down there. Lance starting to put together some pretty good laps right here. Got a few bikes in his gap, which he hasn't had for a couple of laps. He actually jumps that triple there, went 2-3-2, two, two, and that's it's a pretty tough section for the lights riders to do. Supercross guys didn't seem to have a problem with it because of the horsepower, but Lance, though, making, uh, making this heat race look easy at this point. Final lap, and remember, those names in red do not have transfer spots to the main. Only the top nine listed in green. One of them will be Darcy Lamb. Here he comes. Checkered flag for Darcy Lange taking heat number two here in St. Louis. Carrying the onboard across the line is Brayton. He'll get a transfer. Here's a battle for the final transfer spot. Renner, Smith, and Collier, eight, nine, and 10. Smith on the 47. 
He's going to get eighth. Renner's going to get ninth. And Collier comes up just short. So Darcy Lange is going on to the main and to talk to Aaron when we come back to St. Louis. The baddest racing in that. Racing tonight inside the Edward Jones Dome in St. Louis, Missouri. We've just wrapped up heat number two, the Ant Mobile Supercross Light Series. Here are the top nine riders going on to tonight's main. Sean Collier and everybody else gonna have to try to make their way in through the last chance qualifier. Darcy Langeron is really starting to turn up the heat. He most definitely is straight off a second place podium finish last weekend and having the fastest first practice of the day. Darcy, take us through the last week and how much has changed and how much your nerves have calmed throughout the week. Oh, uh, they're definitely calm. You know, the first round I was nervous. It was my first Supercross on uh, on this team, and you know, I know they had some high expectations of me. And uh, you know, I can't say enough for Mitch Pro Circuit, uh, Kawasaki. They've got, put together an awesome team. You know, the Monster Back team is awesome. The bikes, I couldn't ask for a better bike. And uh, you know, I'm just glad to be back in Supercross. After last year, I didn't think I was going to come back, and uh, to get an opportunity like this with that team is uh, awesome. Darcy Lange riding with a lot of pressure on his shoulders. Your winner, heat number two. Tuesday on Speed, ordinary people team up with two-wheel superstars for a ride of a lifetime. Don't miss the series premiere of Epic Ride, Tuesday night, 9.30 Eastern, 6.30 Pacific on Speed. Let's take a look at our Dunlop up close now for tonight's last chance qualifier. We'll get the final four riders for the main event from the LCQ. Now let's show you the highlights. 30-second board is up. She'll turn it sideways like that, head off the track, and we'll be underway. Hahn tries to get a good start at the inside, does it, takes the whole shot and the lead into the sand pit, but he's got the 54 of Bobby Kinnear, you're right there with him. Oh, oh, oh! down also. So here's a look at it. Watch Han crashing first. Han comes up short on that triple. Rolls off the side of the bar of the berm there over the tough blocks and he's definitely got something wrong. And you see Kaneri just completely comes up short. Panic revs the bike over the bars. You see the bike go flipping up over the tough blocks. He gives a look back to the flagger for some reason. Maybe he didn't get warmed in time there. Woo. Scary moment there. Meanwhile, the 633 is out front. Hahn walking away. Man, made for a pop on the triple coming out, but no problems for this guy. Ronnie Jackson on his way to winning the last chance qualifier, and he's headed to the main event here in St. Louis. Who's going to join him? Hoffmaster Nye and Sipes. The main event lineup is complete. Dungy, Lange, and now Ronnie Jackson when we come back to St. Louis. You might be out racing. Now you can get the latest race results and news right on your phone with weekly green alerts from Speed. Text KX to 773333 on your mobile phone to receive free motorcycle racing text alerts. Speed green alerts presented by Kawasaki. I see a courthouse just in front of Big Arch behind it. The Edwards Jones Dome just off to the left of that facility. Let's check in with Aaron Bates for Progressive Direct Free Race Report. Well, with the experience of riding for a championship in his favor, Darcy Lange managed to get his feet wet last weekend with a second place podium finish. He said there is so much pressure on his shoulders, not that the team is putting it on, but he's putting it on himself, not only because it's such an accomplished team, but because it's a performance-based program he's on as well. He said he got the first race jitters out of the way, and we can expect big things from Darcy Lange tonight. Let's show you the up close for the main event. Darcy Lange hoping to be a big part of it. Ryan Dungey won heat one, Lands won heat two, and Ronnie Jackson pretty much an upset victory in the last chance qualifier. Here's your Dunlop starting grid. A lot of folks thought maybe Dungey and Lands were a bit of a freak from the first week. I don't know. They're looking pretty good, Jeff. Yeah, they uh, consistently were the fastest qualifiers today in earlier practice, won their heat races. Definitely the favorites for the main event here tonight. Justin Sipes makes his first ever main event, his first ever attempt at it. Here's our onboard camera. 
Justin Brayton on the MotorWorldRacing.com Yamaha. Here's a look at it. 32nd board is up. Dungey on the 62 lands right alongside of him just to his left on the 105. And Ben Townley on the 101. Back into the 
title chase. Tadley on the 101, if he can hold on for the win, he's going to be right back in it. Well, there's no doubt that he wants this. He's been here in America for over a year and missed last year's season with a, just a string of injuries. He's out to prove that you know, he wants to be champion here in the U.S. and lead the main event. Hopefully for him, taking a, taking a win is a great step. See the two pro circuit guys, they're closing up, and Dungey's right there. And what these, the, what Dungey's gonna try to do is see where each one of these oh, guys oh. is making up time. Boy, I thought Lance was going down in the sand section. And so with back to what I was saying, he's gonna try to follow some lines and try to figure something out here. And he also has to find some passing lines at this point, not only a fast line, but find a way around these guys if he happens to catch up to them. Well, let's get on the halfway point here at the main event in St. Louis. Ben Townley out in front of Darcy Lange and Ryan Dungey. A 46-5, the best effort by Townley. Lange has actually run a 46 flat. Dungey a 46-2, Alessi's best effort a 46-9 as he sits back in fourth. And Mitch Payne's got to be pretty happy about this. This is guys are definitely uh, putting it down. It's a three-way fight for Ford. Alessi, Marias, and Gerke. Now, Gerke on the podium a week ago in Atlanta on that 33, third rider in line there. He's in the title chase. And Mike Alessi, you had him. Oh, look at that battle for the lead. Side by side, the teammates from the Monster Pro Circuit Kawasaki oh. team. And Lance almost loses it, but takes the lead. That was one of the craziest sequences I've seen here. But he's going to lose it back. Here comes Townley with the inside line. And Dungey is right there now. Look at this. There's somebody has gained some confidence. And it might be Dungey. Dungey might benefit from this. These two get to banging bars. And Dungey's in a perfect position to sweep the first two rounds. We have got a tight race brewing here. That, that was an unbelievable. Oh, Lance makes now a mistake. Lance, big bottle. And Dungey's through to second. Well, Lance was hanging it out there a little bit. He said, okay, I'm sick of following you, Townley. I'm going to try to take some stabs at the lead. So the Makita Suzuki rider slides himself into second. Can he track down the leader here in St. Louis? Stay with us for one of the best lights races of the year. Brewing here for the lead. Ben Townley on the green. Monster Pro Circuit Kawasaki just in front of the Makita Suzuki. The factory effort of Ryan Dungey, the winner a week ago in Atlanta, surprised everybody winning his first round out. And now, Jeff, he's battling for another win in his second week of competition. And the, and the irony here, Ralph, is the 101 here, Townley was 22nd. That's last place last week. So he's got something to prove. 62's got all the confidence. He was first last week. He's a points leader, so by holding on for a second here tonight, he's really going to build up a good points lead. Oh, he wants more than second. We've also seen the 105, who was up there mixing it up earlier. Darcy Lance, he's got a couple of these lappers in there, but he's, he's going to have to regroup here, get his heart rate down. If he has any sort of arm pump or anything, he's going to have to get rid of that and get focused on chasing these guys. Some slower traffic getting in the way, too, and you already talked about the fact that there's not a lot of great lines for passing. Some of those slower riders could get in the way and make it even tougher. Well, that was close. Dungey gets together with our leader, Townley, loses second. Lange is back through. I tell you, Dungey was just coming through the wood section with so much speed, he came up alongside. Woo. Real fortunate to keep that one on two wheels. Let's see what happened to Lange earlier as we watch Townley out front. Okay, so you see Lange here coming in. He, he was putting a lot of pressure on Townley. Comes in the same line, comes off the side of the track there, just gets his weight to the outside peg and jumps. He was fortunate to keep it inside of the track. Now watch right here, the yellow bike just get the drive. 
and almost jumped right on side of right on the top of Townley. It looked like Townley drifted across the track and it took the line away for Dungeon. Well, he definitely did. That is the racing line. That's the flow of the track. But the thing was, is that Dungeon just carried so much momentum and so much speed through the woods that he just came up on top of it. They got there at the same time, didn't they? Now, when he's back in striking position with three to go. And look who's regrouped, Ralph, here. Lange has been two or three seconds back here the last couple laps, and now he's right on the lead again. And maybe he won't make the same mistakes twice. Well, he took a couple of good stabs up the lead there. Thought that he was going to make it stick early. But Mitch Payton and Pro Circuit, he's got to be happy about the, the rides these two guys are putting in. The best hope for Dungey now, if he wants to get this win, is that these two oh. get together. Off the track, Ralph, I'm sorry, that was Dungey. The battle for the lead continues. Lange and Duncan. Oh, there's Dungey down, as you said. He's gonna get back up, but he's dropping down through the grid. But look at the fight for the lead. Oh, boy, Lance tries to get inside, but Townley closes it on him. Has to fall right back in line, though. That inside line, there's just no way. Once, you're, once he was to the inside of Townley, there's just nowhere to go. Here he comes inside. Lance has it. See if he can make it stick here. They go by Dungey who cannot get his bike restarted. So a good points night going away for him. And meanwhile, Lange, who was second a week ago, trying to improve by taking his first Supercross win here tonight in the 2007 season. We got one lap to go and a lot of lappers here. Lance making a little mistake in the sand. He doesn't have any cushion here. This is These lappers could play a big part in the outcome of this main event. Marias has moved up to third. Gerke is fourth, and Alessi, Mike, is in fifth. But this is going to be the story of the finish of this main event. Last lap. Townley, inside, takes the spot away. Oh! Lance goes over the bars! He totally committed and tossed it away. Oh, he just had so much speed coming out of the whoops there. I just, I seen that. He, I, you see his legs coming off the back of the bite in the air and just a full panic rev. And the win will go to Ben Townley. He wins the main event in St. Louis, completely exhausted. He has given it his all, and he wins here tonight. <laughs> Marias will take second, Gerke will get third, Michael Lessie fourth. Let's go back and take a look at the replay from high above as this battle to the checkers raged on. Yeah, you can see Lange, he just made a mistake coming out of that rut. He, and then he just tries to get the drive and just is completely over the bars, never had a chance, just whew, total commitment. See right here on the corner of your screen, that is a wild ride and very fortunate that the bike didn't gobble him up there. That was Matt Bonney on the 609, right in the middle of it. But Ben Tatley's the winner, we'll talk to him. We come back to St. Louis. What do you call someone who... Series round two. Boy, these two are really living up to the billing. Let's take you back to the... Progressive direct whole shot replay. Watch this. 101 just gets the drive there. Hugs it tight. Comes back around and takes the progressive direct whole shot. Townley with the whole shot. To see this and other whole shots from throughout the season, visit wholeshotheaven.com. Well, Ben Townley not only got the whole shot, he fought through an incredible fight to get the win. Ryan Marias, Matt Gerke. Gerke, really gonna look great in the points. Podiums two weeks in a row. Darcy Lange, after that tough fall, credited with a sixth. He's gonna keep himself alive in the points. But it's Ryan Dungey who's gonna drop, finishing 18th after crashing out here in round two. Aaron. Well, guys, a battle like no other taking place with his teammate, Darcy Lange, at that. Ben, congratulations. You made it up here onto the podium. How does it feel, your first win here in America? 
Uh, I, I can't explain it. I'm, it's, it's so emotional. My dad here, my dad's here, and uh, my mum couldn't make it because my sister's uh, really sick right now. She was in hospital. And, man, I just want to say thanks to my mum and dad just for everything they've done for me over the years. This has been my dream to come here, and when I crossed the finish line, it, was, it just felt... I don't know, it's hard to explain to put into words. It's just been my lifelong dream to be here. Now you're battling against your teammate Darcy Lange out there, and then you saw him swap up and actually go down in front of you. What was going through your head at that point? Yeah, I was, we had two turns to go, and I, man, I, I'm, I feel sorry for him, you know, but I'm just so happy to get the win, and I have to say thanks to the guys at Monster Energy, Prosuit Kawasaki, all of them does such a good job. Bones, Mitch, Craig, Aaron, Zach. Man, uh, Craig, my mechanic, he's been with me for years now. I have to thank Alden, Ron, Lucy, um, parts I'm out of, Jeff Fox, Bridgestone, Scott, Thor. I mean, there's just so many people that have helped me out to get here, and I that's uh, that's the start of repaying them. Thanks very much. It's been a long time of waiting, but Ben Townley, your winner on top. Well, Ben's trip is not done yet because this is all about the road to Las Vegas. First weekend in May, speed will be there. And we'll have the East-West Shootout for the Supercross Light Series. It should be a great race. Here's a look at the points. And look at this. Marias and Gerke tied atop the standings. Three back now. The Arena Cross champion, Darcy Lance, trying to grab the Supercross Light's East Coast title as well, Aaron. Well, Ryan Marias beside himself right now. Ryan, the best finish you've ever had at Supercross. What's going through your head? Oh, I'm so happy right now. I've been working my butt off at home. and. Oh, I'm so happy it's paying off right now. <laughs> the, last, the last couple of years, you've been sort of suffering with a whole bunch of injuries. What does it feel like to be over, to overcome all of that and to come out on top? Yeah, I mean, my professional career has been a rough one from the beginning, and I just never gave up, and it's so glad that it's paying off, and it just feels, it makes all that, that suffering back then worth it. <laughs> what is it going to take? This, this uh, division is so stacked. What is it going to take? Is it going to be consistency? Is that going to be the key? Yeah, I think just taking race by race. I mean, a anything can happen as it showed tonight, and I'm just going to go out there and do the best I can every weekend and just try to be up there and be consistent and it pay off at the end, hopefully. <laughs> it's paid off in a big way here tonight with second place. Is the passion for two wheels in your blood? Well, now you can get all the breaking news in-depth analysis and more the motorcycle racing report only at speedtv.com keyword green presented by kawasaki let's head back down to the podium once again well i tell you the yamaha of troy is cleaning up down here good to see you back up here on the podium matt gerke two races in a row can you can you believe this is happening yourself yeah i mean this is what i was hoping for and i'm doing it couldn't have done it out boost mobile fly racing enzo yamaha troy Dunlop, FMF Spy, Bianchi Bicycles, UGP, and all my friends and family, they helped me out a lot. I mean, after practice, that crash, I was worried about messing up the points today, and I got on the podium again, I'm pumped. And you had said that you wanted to take this win, and you want this championship more than anything. Right now, you are tied for the points championship lead. What does that do for your confidence going into next weekend? That's awesome, I mean, like I said, after my crash this morning, I was worried about that, and I came out, got on the podium, so I'm pumped. Now I got a week to get my wrist better, and in my hometown track, Daytona. <laughs> Great to see you back up here on the podium. Thank you. Darcy Lange had a shot at the wind till that huge crash right there. He's with Aaron. Well, they built him a little tougher in Canada. Darcy, a big get off for you. What exactly went on? Uh, you know, it just came down to the last lap, and uh, me and Ben were battling for the lead, and uh, managed to get by him, and then I seen him pass me back, and just kind of went bonsai through the whoops, and, you know, end out over the triple out, but... You know, I just can't say enough for that Monster Energy Pro Circuit Kawasaki. Those guys have, have given me the opportunity of a lifetime, and even to be up here battling for first is, is an honor. couple scratches on his face, a minor setback. We expect to see him next weekend in Daytona. Coming into the race, Jeff Emick talked about the good, the bad, and the ugly. There are some ugly crashes, but Ben Townley has taken himself right to the top of the charts of the good. A big win here in St. Louis, his first ever. For Aaron Bates and Jeff Emmett, I'm Rob Shaheen. So long from St. Louis, we're headed to the beach. Daytona's next. Congratulations, Ben.